Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, real quick, my 2018 goal is 1,000 subscribers, so if you don't mind, it would be great to, to help me out with that. So let's get right into it. You might be noticing back here that something is missing off of this engine, the intake manifold. So uh, let's see what's going on. So this is the intake manifold removed from the car. It is a 2005 Dodge Magnum uh, with the 5.7 Hemi. Um, the reason I actually removed this is because I had an uh, oil leak underneath the manifold where all the O-rings wow. are under here. So the filler goes through the manifold um, and coincidentally was causing some seepage over on the block. And right here is where that um, oil filler would connect and there's over time some grease collecting here so um, so I had to remove it you don't have to remove your intake manifold if you just want to clean the outside of it um, you could certainly do that with it on the car uh, but for what I need to do I'm replacing all of the o-rings on the bottom side of the manifold um, and also I will be cleaning this under here but that's uh, separate from this video so the first thing I want to do is a dry cleaning. I'm going to use an old paint brush. You could use a, um, a wheel lug brush, like a detailing brush as well. Um, I'm going to take this and, and I um, can sweep off the dirt, but I'm also going to use my shop vac to, to suck up as much of the dirt as I can. dry cleaning and the vacuum it looks it's still dirty of course but it looks much better the reason um, I'm actually going to clean the inside as well as the outside is on a modern car can you see that in there on a modern car you have EGR which is exhaust gas recirculation exhaust gas recirculation excuse me and also there's the PCV system and that little tube there on the left um, is where the PCV valve um, connects back to the intake. So you have a vacuum from the intake that draws oil vapors um, out of the crankcase. Um, and it's supposed to collect in here. And I'm sure some of it does collect because there's also um, a, a opening into the for the oil to run back down, similar to over here where you fill the oil. But so check this out. If I come in here and wipe it, look at that. That's just, uh, that's nasty stuff. But you know, that, truth be told, this is how the thing was designed. So it's probably not really necessary, but I've got the thing off and um, I'm going to be, you know, I'm cleaning the outside and I've got it off. I'm replacing the O-rings. Um, I may as well, I wanted to really get the outside clean because of all these little nooks and crannies in here. Um, they're just, they hold, they're going to catch dirt. So, um, the best way I thought to clean the outside was probably to soak it. And by submerging it and soaking it, I can also clean the inside in there. Well, before we soak it, actually, I want to take my uh, garden hose and spray off the outside real well and try to get what's left of this loose dirt out from these nooks and crannies. So let's go do that now. Okay, so I put the uh, manifold on that plastic lid just because I don't want to have dirt and grit from the driveway here uh, getting up into the manifold. put this thing into this container you can tell already that it's looking much better on the outside just from the rinse with the hose but we want to I want to get the inside clean as well 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, a product called Purple Power. Not an endorsement. I just think I kind of read and decided this would be the best thing to, to use. Um, if you'll notice on the back, it is corrosive, it says. Um, so what I did is I made sure I removed everything metallic from the manifold. So all, you know, obviously the fuel and on this one, there's fuel injectors and fuel rails and all that. That would come off anyway um, to soak it like this. But anything like the um, the screws that hold the manifold down, I took all, took those out. Um, any clips, even over here where the throttle body bolts on, um, there's metal clips for the screws to thread into. I took that off. Any sensors like the MAP sensor, I took that off. PCV valve off. So all I have here is the composite intake manifold, nothing metallic. Um, my concern is if I were to leave uh, anything metallic, it would eat any coatings off of it, and then I would have rusty hardware, and that doesn't look very good either. Get that garage door open too, I think, in case, it's, in case it has a bad smell to it. So, try to pour it in here. I don't want to. Obviously, I don't want this to splash back on me. So, keep, keep my face back. And I am going to be adding water to this um, to, get the, um, to get the manifold fully submerged. One. I spilled that, but I've got another container to put this in. Okay, cleaned the mess up. Uh, what I, I just put some uh, some water in this outside container to so that way I wouldn't lose any more of my cleaner out of the inner one. So it's kind of floating in there, but that's okay. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I've got this bucket here, it's three and a half gallons. I'm gonna go up to the bathtub, get some the hot tap water uh, from there, and then fill this, put probably two of these in there. Um, I'm not gonna use a five gallon bucket just because I don't wanna carry a five gallon bucket of scalding hot water through my house in case it were to break and spill and then I'd have a real big problem. So anyway, let's get that done. I just want to put enough water in here to submerge the whole thing Oops. without making a mess if I can help it. I think that's enough. So I don't want to over I don't want to over dilute my solution if I don't have to. Still have probably a gallon or so of water left in my three and a half gallon bucket. So I should have pretty close to a 50 50 um, solution here of purple power and water. So um, I don't know if you could see it whenever I was pouring it, but there was actually steam coming off of the uh, uh, water when I was putting it in there. So um, I did turn the manifold upside down because with the curvature of it on the top, I didn't want to have any air trapped up in there. Um, it would probably, I don't know if it would have gotten out or not, but I just want to make sure that uh, the solution can get all inside all the voids inside the manifold there. I wiped off the bottom of this uh, lid. I didn't want to get any grit back into my 
uh, solution here. So we'll put the lid on there, clip it. So the purple power doesn't have much of a smell to it, so I'm not don't need to seal it up or anything. So we're gonna let this soak for about 24 hours and we'll come back tomorrow and see how it looks. All right, we are back. It's closer to 48 hours. Yeah, right at 48 hours. Um, so I went to the store and got a few uh, brushes. Yeah, got two of these. No endorsement or anything. I was just walked around for a while trying to find something that would work. So I'm going to use this to get into the intake runners. Dryer lint brush. Just an old toothbrush here for, uh, for cleaning. So let's see what it looks like in here. Boy, that looks pretty nasty. All right, let's see which end is the front. Ooh. Ooh, terrible. All right, let's go the other way. Yes, it is nasty, nasty coming out there. Let's just see how this does. Now I want to be careful not to pull this out too fast because um, I don't want to sling this uh, stuff in my face. So I can get I can get pretty far down in there. I just pull, you know, I'm just pulling out. Pulling the brush out there slowly. Let's do this side. Maybe I can rinse it off a little bit. Yeah. All right, well, this is gonna take a little while, so uh, let's just time-lapse this. Side and flush it with clean water and we'll see what it looks like. Well, we've run out of daylight, so I'm gonna I'll flush it and then we'll come back. All right, uh, it's flushed out. I probably flushed it for 15 minutes or so just to make sure I get all of the um, cleaning solution out of there. So next, I think I'm going to wash the PCV system out with brake parts cleaner and the oil fill as well. I noticed on the inside here, that spot there on the right, the EGR tube comes out right here. And it um, looks to me like the heat from the EGR actually has kind of cooked that composite there a little bit and I, I scrubbed um, I scrubbed this is you know a lot still a little moisture in there but I couldn't get it really to come off um, yeah there's still some water there so um, but it's you know if it's that caked on there it's not gonna come off now anyway so and then there was of course um, there was uh, the same thing all down in here as well but, you know, now you can see it's clean. Obviously, I couldn't get way back in the back in there, but the only thing back there, really, um, I think was the, uh, from what I could see, was just oil from the uh, PCV system there on the side. So, and all of that would have dissolved with the uh, cleaning solution, so.
All right, so I'm going to, uh, we'll do the brake parts cleaner um, in those two uh, places. And I'm gonna, I, I really am gonna let it probably sit for another day or so just to let all the water evaporate out of it. Um, and then I can evaluate more if I need to do more cleaning. So we'll come back. So here's the manifold all dry. I think it turned out pretty nice. cleaner than it was. That's the oil filler neck there. And another look down inside there. So so yeah I don't you know cleaning the inside I don't Again, I don't think it's necessary, um, but uh, I definitely think the outside looks much, looks pretty much like new. Um, so overall, I'm satisfied. Um, I thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, rate the video and uh, help me get to my goal of 1,000 subscribers in 2018. Thank you and have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.